Hey, how's everybody doing, man? Well, like, just like the, uh, <laughs> the title says, shit talking. Hey, remember when you were growing up, man, and, and you'd be around with your friends and you just start talking shit? I don't, I don't mean shit, shit, but you just, you talk about things that really don't matter in life, you know? You just, you just talk about shit. Yeah, we just got back from the store. How to get, what is that? How to get some wheels. Ooh. What's going on? How to get some wheels. How to get some nuts and bolts. I got like eight, eight packs of twos. Sixteen of them. Um, Miles picked this up. Why? Well, I had no idea. It's a nightlight. Then you know, we went to that seven, well, I don't know the name of the store, man. I'll be honest with you. She won the nightlight. I don't know why. We ain't got no kids. I'm not completely blind. A little bit, but not completely. Yeah, what the deal is, man. Check this. You got you to gotta check this out. Check this out. All right. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Well, actually, uh, let's just say a month ago. All right. Yeah, as you know, some of you know, Miles and myself are getting really into smoking. And I told her, I said, you know what would be really awesome? I said, if I can get me a piece of meat or get me a piece of ham, and I could smoke it, and then I could slice it up, like for sandwiches, deli meat, deli meat, okay? And she was kind of like, I don't think she really understood where I was getting at, you know, because they don't have deli meat here. At least I haven't seen any. They might in like, Cebu or some other place, San Nicolas or whatever, but not here, not in this area. So I went on Lazada online and I'm looking, and all of a sudden I've seen a meat slicer. Now, I don't know, anybody that's here in the Philippines knows that a lot of times the pictures in Lazada are deceiving. In other words, they can take this and make it that big just by pictures i know i'm exaggerating a little bit all right but you all get the point they, 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 they things sometimes things are exaggerated in the zap so i'm looking at it and it was i'm gonna say eight thousand pesos all right so in my head i, I want a meat slicer that's all i know is i want a meat slicer but I didn't want the deli meat slicer. I just wanted the home meat slicer. Deli, home. Big difference. So, I ordered it. And about two weeks, two weeks later, it shows up at the house, and it's in this big box. Okay, and I'm looking at it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. The door was left open, and it's getting a little windy. Oh, I shouldn't say windy. Heavy breeze, and and it slammed the door shut. And I was like, "What's going on?" Okay. So where was I? Oh yeah. Lazada shows up with this freaking box. The box is like this big. The box is. Let me see. Yeah, it was like. Let me get back some. The box was like this tall. Okay, yeah, because I hold it like that. And I was like this. So, actually the box was so big that the motorcycle carry, the motorcycle delivery guy asked me to meet him at the gas station that's in town because the truck dropped it off there and then he had to deliver it and he says, I, I can't get this on my motorcycle. I'm like, how big is this freaking box? Well, anyway, we go and I'm like, what the hell? So I put it in the truck and I get home and I'm looking at it and I'm like, uh, is this a meat slicer? Because the box was pretty big. Bigger than I pictured in my head. Let me just say that much. Well, I open up the box and I'm walking. And it ain't no home meat slicer, man. It's a deli meat slicer. A deli. A Bremen deli meat slicer. That usually costs, I think, about 400 bucks in the States. It's a Bremen. The Bre There's a label Bremen on it. And I've seen them. I didn't see many, many of them, 
but I've seen them in the state of Bremen. It's an actual deli, industrial, whatever you want to call it, meat slicer. Miles looks at it, I looked at it, we're looking down at it, and I'm like, I think they sent us the wrong meat slicer. She goes, well, I'll call, and I said, you ain't calling nobody. Okay. We're finally getting the long end of the stick here as far as, you know, when we order something. You know, we ain't getting something that we thought was, but wasn't. So we kept it. And you can call me dishonest, man, but hey, possession is nine tenths of the law. It's in my house. I have possession of it. It ain't going nowhere. So we kept it. So anyway, what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're probably like, dude, what are you freaking talking about? Well, anyway, so what I'm going to have. Is I'm going to have a, a cart with these with the wheels it's so you can wheel it out that I can permanently keep not I'm not going to bolt it down or anything like that but where I ain't every time I want to use it I got to pick it up and move it so all I got to do is I'll put it on this cart there's a guy I buy the materials it's going to cost me like 20 bucks for the wood I'll give him usually he charge who he doesn't charge usually he'll ask no, okay he asks us about for like 2,000, 3,000 pesos to do the work. $20, 30 And the guy does really good work. He did. He made our cabinets for us. He made our cabinets for us in the kitchen. And we liked it. The only problem is, and he was like, when, I, when he was asking me how I wanted it, I told him I wanted the sliding doors. He says, you sure you want sliding doors on that? You sure you don't want the opening doors? No, no, no. I want sliding doors. I screwed up. I should have got the opening doors. Because the opening doors, you get, for some reason, you get more room. You know what I mean? The females are what I'm talking about because they know all about cabinets more than men do. You get more room because, you know, with sliding doors, you still lose when you open the door up. When you slide the door to one side to open up one area, you lose about that much because of the door, because of the handle. Open doors, you got the whole view. So that's why I screwed up. I should have had the open door instead of the sliding door. But this one is going to be an open door, just one door, one single door. And what we can do is Miles has a KitchenAid blender, freestanding blender. So you put that underneath there and whatever else. Not a whole, it's not going to be a freaking, this is where I'm going to put my junk place at. No, I, no. That, that, I don't know about y'all, but that shit annoy, annoys the hell out of me. When you open something up and things are falling out because they, they cram shit in it. That just freaking pisses me. It don't piss me off. It's just very annoying. But other than that, man, it's been crazy. I mean, did you hear about, uh, what's her name? Christy Alley passed away. That's sad, man. You want to know something? Everything, no matter where she was at in life, as far as, you know, because she had weight problems and everything like that, I always thought she had the most beautiful eyes. She always had beautiful eyes. No matter where she was in life, her eyes were so beautiful. I don't know about y'all, but I just, something about her eyes. I remember seeing her the first time, and I think I, if I remember right, I had a crush on her when she was on Cheers. Remember when she was on Cheers? Yeah, that's a sad man. She was 71 years old, man. Now, where's, where's all the, Kenny Rogers, what, Robert Redford, Christy Allen, all these people that we grew up with, my age, 58, okay, that we grew up with watching on TV, or watching in concert or hearing those songs are all dropping dead on us, man. They're leaving us. Now I know how our parents felt when they got our age and all these movie stars and everything were dying. You're like, shit, I'm getting old. So, you know, that, that's sad. That's really sad. And also, there's a bunch of uh, people, upset people, I guess you could call them, over the, uh, what are they called, passport? But I don't... This, see, there's two channels I watch. Okay, well, actually, two to three channels. One channel is Philippine Annex. The only reason I watch them is because if, to see if I can get some information, okay? Which, that's why you watch them, right? And then I, I watch uh, Marcos and Overstory Road. I watch him. I don't watch him for information. You ain't going to get no information from that man. He's just funny. I just laugh at some of the shit he does. And he reminds me of somebody I grew up with, man. He reminds me of somebody I grew up with. His personality, not his looks, his personality. And once in a while, I watch Rick Shaw. Rick Shaw's a good guy. And there's a new guy I watch now. Hey, check him out, man. He's called Ma, uh, Ma, Mog Man. 
Yeah, Ma, M O G, M A N, Mog Man. Yeah, he's a he's he's up and coming, man. He's up and coming. He's got some pretty good. He has one other video. I'm not gonna say what it is, but he's got a video on there that about a person I despise. He's got a video on here there about him, and I just I just laugh when I saw. I die laughing, man. I like to laugh. I like to laugh at stupid shit. And this guy's the guy he videos always doing stupid shit. Not for entertainment, because he's freaking stupid. I, so that, that was pretty good. But also, uh, I seen a video a couple of days ago. I, I, you probably, everybody probably heard about it, about passport bros. The guys are speaking the truth, man. Why are American men leaving the United States? Doesn't take a rocket science. I'm not going to get into it, okay, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you always see it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. I left before the height of everything, where everything got really intense. But, just watch it, man. Just watch what the gentleman talks about. And he's, and he's, right, and he's right on it. And I'm not going to talk about it, because, you know, it's just, that, that's, his, that's his, his thing. And let him, let him take care of it. But, uh, yeah. Everything's in there. I agree 100%. Quit making a man feel like he ain't worth shit. And he'll stick around. You start treating him like he's a piece of crap. He's gone. And that's what's happening. Man will get tired of it. Man will get tired of being treated like second rate citizens. No, I don't want you in my life. I don't want you to see my kids, but you will take care of your child. Yeah, I'll take care of my child as long as, you know, but I am going to see him too. It's, man, it's getting crazy. And, and you know, the way I feel, you be you. You do what you want to do, and that's fine. If you're happy with your life, that's fine. But don't, 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 don't try to fuck everybody else's life up in the process. Okay? Don't, don't, don't trust, justify yourself by fucking other people's lives up. That's all I gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, it's hot when it's like 90, 91 degrees. I think it is. Seventy percent, seventy percent humidity. Yeah, I know one guy says, why are you always saying it's hot? Because it's freaking hot, man. It's freaking hot, you know. But other than that, man, I'm, I'm doing all right. Took them, uh, I got a question, okay? What constitutes a motorcycle? What cc's does a motorcycle have to, have to be to say it's a motorcycle? And what cc's to say it's, it's a moped? Okay, because... I, I call my my uh, my Mopos, I call that a moped. It's 155 cc's, but it's an automatic. Which I'll tell you right now, man. I will freaking tell you this right now. It's a godsend, okay? You do. I have I have that, and I have a Suzuki, okay, which is a manual, five speed, okay. The way traffic is around here. Not here in the town. This town is, I mean, after 12 o'clock, man, 12 o'clock, between 12 noon and 4 o'clock, there do, do, do ain't nothing on the road, barely, on the main, on the main, main strip in the town. And that's when, if I have to go somewhere, that's when I go. Not that I'm scared to drive, but I know I ain't got to be like this the whole time I'm driving because people are coming out all over the place because they do do that here. I don't give a, I don't give a F what they tell you. They do not watch where the hell they're going. So... What was I, man? <laughs> yeah. What constitutes a motorcycle? What CCs would you say a motorcycle starts to be a motorcycle? And what CCs below that would you say is a moped? People tell me your 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 bike is a is a motorcycle. Some people say it's a moped. I say it's a moped. I don't care. But it's an automatic. And like I just got down damn saying about two seconds ago, it's a godsend because it's a bitch to drive a manual in the Philippines. Okay? It's a bitch to drive a manual in the Philippines. Yeah, it's great on gas. Okay, I get all that. But it's a bitch to drive a manual in the Philippines. That's all I'm, that's all I'm going to say to y'all. It's a bitch. All right, man. <laughs> hey, if you all think this is great and you, and you like this, I'll, I'll do this all the time, man. There's plenty of times that I got things going on in my head that I want to talk to, talk about, but I, I don't. I don't. So, 
if you think this is pretty cool and you think it's stupid, just let me know. All right, man. Y'all be good. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Love you. Bye for now.